Welcome back, students. Now that you've tested your fuselage, you probably found out it doesn't fly very well without some wings. So, for today's step, we're going to add some wings onto the fuselage and test it again. Going back to our test flight material list, you're going to need the transparent tape again today. It works much better than masking tape since masking tape is much heavier. You'll need your safety glasses for when you test your flying object. You'll need your scissors again. You'll need your plastic straw. And if you have your fuselage still made, you can reuse that. You may also need your remaining fuselage pieces of paper in case you need to make a new fuselage for doing additional prototypes. You'll need your landing strip so you can test to see how well it flies. And then you'll need your pre-cut airfoil cardstock. And now let's get going. Step number nine says we're going to make the wings and add them to the fuselage. Step A says get your cardstock with the airfoil shapes from your teacher. Then you're going to create two identical airfoils. These are both airfoils, a high camber and a symmetrical camber that you learned about earlier. And then you're going to tape those onto your fuselage. Again, not a whole lot of instructions, so let's watch the video to learn a couple hints. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting out some airfoils. You don't have to cut all of these airfoils out, but you're going to need to start by cutting at least two small rectangles to create your two identical airfoils. I'm going to cut a couple extras because you may want to make different airfoils as you do different tests. But I'm just going to set two of them off for now and the rest of them I'm going to put off to the side. And now, remembering what you learned about airfoils, an airfoil looks something like this. So I'm going to tape my airfoils into kind of a water drop or teardrop shape. When I bend my paper around, I want the two back sides of the wing to meet, and then I'm going to hold them together with about a one inch long piece of clear tape. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other wing shape. And now I have two identical wing shapes. Now is when you might want to change and bend the shape of the cardboard so it matches the shape of the airfoil that you think is going to make the best airplane wing. There's lots of choices to choose from. So that's why you have so many extra airfoil shapes is if you try one and it doesn't work, you can make a different airfoil and try it again. Now that we have the fuselage built and the two wing shapes, we're going to add them on to the fuselage. But another trick is to make sure that you know where the center of balance for the fuselage is. So here's a real easy way to do that. Take your launching straw, put it on the table, and then put your fuselage over the top of the straw and try to find out where does it balance as evenly as possible. That's what they call the center of balance. As soon as you find the center of balance as close as possible, put a mark on your fuselage because that's where you want to have your wings located. So now that I have that center of balance, I'm going to put my two wings, one on one side of my airfoil, one on the other side of the airfoil, and the wings need to be somewhere near that center of balance. Sometimes the center of balance is closer to the front, sometimes it's closer to the back. 
That's one of the experiments you get to be working on. So I'm going to put it about in the middle for this one. And you slide the wings as close as you can. And then you're going to take about an inch and a half long piece of tape. And you're going to put the tape right across so it's touching both wings and across the top of the airfoil. As soon as you have that, you're going to flip the whole thing upside down and you're going to put another piece of tape across the bottom. Make sure that when you're doing that, the folded part of your fuselage has to be towards the front of the wings. Remember, the front of the wings are normally curled or curved. The top of the wing normally is a higher arch, unless you're doing a symmetrical. And then your wings should look like that. Now, if your wings are bent so that If when you taped your wings, one wing is angled at a different angle than the other side, loosen up the tape and do your best to try to get them as even as possible. And if you look from the front of your plane and the wings tips are angled up, that's what they call dihedral. It's a technical term on airplanes to help them fly more stable. And if the wingtips are tipping up, that would be the top of your airplane. So you might even want to write down that that is the top. If you look at it and they're angling down, just take the part that's angled away from the tips, and that would be the bottom of your plane. So make sure that when you launch it, the dihedral or the higher part of the tips are facing up. Now that you're ready, you're going to you do the same type of testing that you did before by putting your jaw, straw jet into the straw, pulling it out about an inch, and then go flying your jet. Hopefully you have smooth flying. If not, you may need to go back and see what you want to try to do to make your straw jet fly better. It might be rebending the shape of your wings. It might be repositioning your wings or straightening them out. You might have to make a new fuselage or new wing shapes and make another airplane so you can try different versions to see what can you do to find success flying your straw jets? Have a great flying day.